Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you various fixes and solutions to common problems found within the PS2 emulator PCSX2. Now because there are quite a few issues with this program I am going to be cutting the videos up into various sections so that you can find the solution to the specific problem that you may have. I'm going to try and keep things nice and simple as best as I can but some areas will have rather a lot of information and you are going to need to have some understanding and knowledge of what it is you are going to be messing around with. So before I do focus on each problem, I am going to be mentioning this first in each video. Firstly, before we do anything at all, I recommend that you get two versions of this program. I recommend that you get the latest release of PCSX2 and then whilst you're at it, I want you to also look for the old stable release of 1.40. If at this point you are baffled as to why I am telling you to download two different versions of this program, it is fairly simple. You need 1.40 because whilst it is an older version, it can handle some games better than the current release. It also comes with DirectX 9 in the render option and this is needed to run certain games a lot better than what the current release can do. If you do download the latest version, it should only come with a few render options as shown here, whilst the older version has a few different options as shown here. So if at first you do find you are having any issues at all with this program with the latest release, then I do recommend that you switch to the older version first and then try that. Now that that's out of the way, here's this video's problem and its fixes and solutions. Alright, this one might be a little complicated, but as I have said previously, I will do my best to keep this one simple. You're playing a game, you save, you exit, you then go back to that game later on, only to find that none of the saves that you did have saved in the memory card at all. To resolve this problem, firstly check to make sure that the folder is in a place that it's meant to be within the PCSX2 program folder. Make sure that it has these selected files, and then you can either do one of a few things. Once you open up the program, select no disk, and then boot the program up. Once in there, it should ask you if you want to format the cards, and then once you do format them, they should now work properly. Another reason could be because the files which you think you're seeing are not the actual files which you think you have been saving to. Sometimes when you install this program, it can make duplicates in different folders. So just because you think that the memory card folder is where the memory cards that you're using are, well, it could not be. What you need to do is you're going to need to go into your users folder and check either the documents folder, my games folder, my saves folder, and perhaps any other folders which might have just magically popped up overnight, which you just don't recognize. Sometimes the memory cards which your games are saving to can be located there instead of where they are meant to be. A better solution to this and a much easier one which I'm going to recommend is to use another program called MyMC. This program allows you to create, organise and handle the memory cards manually for better organisation and control. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail on that subject because I've already got another video which already explains everything and I will leave a link to that in the description below for you to go to. But in short, this program is better and it's much easier at handling the memory cards so you know exactly where what it is, is what you're messing with. This should solve this issue and fix any problems that you may have with any memory cards but if you do have any other issues or something else then please drop a comment below in the comment section and I will do my best to get back to you. 